Xylophone here with Mario to try out a new archetype. Some crazy stuff, and uh, there's a lot of fairies involved. So, we're gonna do a mirror match, head to head, and see how it goes. So, Something familiar-ish card, some that I don't know about. Yeah, so this is a upgrade. This is a, a support to the Sanctuary in the Sky stuff. What was considered to be the strongest fairy archetype in the game at the time. Okay. And of course, this stuff always lent support to like the uh, Herald Perfection, all that stuff. <laughs> I have fairies, you know. So I'm gonna activate my san Sanctum of a uh, Parsha. And while it's on the field, it becomes Sanctuary in the Sky. Sure. Uh, let's see. Okay, then I'm gonna play the new card, Agent of Life Neptune. Yeah, see a lot of these cards are based off uh, planets and stuff. Oh yeah. So, the uh, Agent of... This is the brand new one to their collection, Neptune. Mm -hmm. This allows me to basically special summon a uh, Agent card from the hand. Okay, unfortunately, if I had... um. If I had Hyper if I had a sanctuary in the, the actual sanctuary in the sky field spell, mm -hmm. I could have uh, I could have brought out Hyperion right off the bat. <laughs> oh, cool! And you, and if you know Hyperion, you know he's tough. I really don't. You not remember him? Nope. I swear you played him before. Maybe. <laughs> I played him once a long time ago. If I did, so. Well, we're just gonna play Agent of Creation oh. Venus, playing all oh. three of her Mystic Shine Balls. Oh. Okay, that's a play. Mm-hmm. I don't have that card. What's this one do though? That's not too bad. Then, I play Guard of the Agent Agent's Moon by using two of the Mystic Shine Balls. I bring it out, activating her effect. I can add a Agent of Earth to the hand. Nice. Unfortunately, this doesn't it doesn't give me an additional special summon for it. Uh let's see. Oh, if I had Sanctuary in the sky already, I could have no I could have brought it straight to the field. Uh and you really need that field spell. Yup. Alright, um with that. Mm. You know, I think I'm going to go for it. I'm going to use Moon and the Mystic Shine Ball left to bring out oh. Arshad. Activating it, I can discard one card like Agent of Force Mars. I can add any card that lists Sanctuary in the Sky in the name to the hand. And that is basically the entire deck, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, sounds like it. Okay. Okay, I am, go, of course, going to add the Sanctuary in the Sky. Yeah. <laughs> it lists it in the name. No, it is the name. And then bow damage. The Fairy Monster becomes zero. Okay. With that, I'll end the turn. Sure. Okay. It's a lot to live up to. So we got this one now. Um, let's see. That's cool. Um, I guess we'll start with playing the Sacred Water of the Sky. Um, this lets me activate uh, Sanctuary in the Sky. So let's just do it. Um, I also have the Sanctum of Parshath. Now it becomes that while it's on the field. Um, but Fire Monsters gain some power. So um, ooh, it's just going to be one of those mirror match setups. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, might as well just play it. All right, now we got two possibilities to summon in our hand. I know I could kind of copy some of your play, but I definitely don't have the, uh, well, the Venus. So that is impossible. That's not going to come into play, so I think the only obvious choice is to get the Earth onto the field. Activate Earth. That will allow me to search something else. Now, I can search Master Hyperion, but I don't think I have an additional normal summon. Which, you know, I could do some other stuff with. So, yeah, I don't think I have an additional summon, period. Uh, this lets you special summon that. But that's not going to do nothing crazy. I guess this will still work. I do. Sure. I do like that little combo they made, though. So, 
they need a support for their tuner monster, Earth. What do they do? They literally create a link monster called the Moon. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, so we got Master Hyperion on the field. Yeah, the okay. one of the boss monsters in the deck. Hmm. Okay. So I can't use the effects. I don't have any fairies in my graveyard. Uh, but we can smash oh. stuff. So that's nice. Let's see. Venus is no longer a big threat. What Saturn do? Any life point to contribute this card to do? Yeah, I don't care about that. And Parshath. That's a lot of effect. I'm just gonna get rid of him. He's the strongest <laughs> card on the field. So. Oh, yeah. If it. Okay. Yeah, because it's not like we deal damage. This this may be a long duel looking at the matchup. <laughs> yeah. But it gives us time to learn. So I normal summon the Earth. Nice. Uh, what does the Earth do again? When this card is normal summon, you can add one Agent monster from your deck to your hand, except Agent the Mystery Earth. Yep. So pretty much what I just did. Mm hmm And since you have the uh, Sanctuary in the Sky, you can get your own Hyperion. And you are much better equipped to use it. Oh, yeah. Let's see. I think I'm going to add the Uranus. Okay. Because I already had a Hyperion in the hand. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Oh, you can just get rid of stuff from your graveyard to summon it too? Nice. Yeah. But yeah, I guess so. that's not all. I'm going to upgrade my Hyperion. Oh, no. I'm going to Synchro Summon with him to create Master Flare Hyperion. Oh, dear. <laughs> Look at him. Yeah, that's something. I okay. This duel might not be that long. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. Uh, let's see. Let's re let's see. Um, send one agent monster from your hand or or deck to the grave. Replace this card's effect with its original effect. Ooh, that's nice. Jeez. When your opponent activates a card or effect, you can banish one fairy from your graveyard. Target a card in the field and banish it. Ooh, that is nice. <laughs> yeah, very. Let's do that real quick. Let's send a card to the grave. Yeah. I love this. I love this as well because you can uh, you essentially get infinite material for when you activate Hyperion's effect as well. Yeah, true. Because you send one of these to the graveyard to gain his original monster effects. I guess it would have been ideal to like use regular Hyperion's effect first before summoning this because then you could use both. But mm -hmm. still, I mean, it's more than enough for you to take control of this duel. Do that, and I can have a monster gain 800 attack points. Let's give Saturn a power up. Why not? There's two monsters I won't be able to overcome so easy. Then I can special summon a monster. Alright. Is that Let's from see. Grave or something? Yep. Oh, from the Banish pile? Oh, from the Banish pile. Jeez! Some good stuff! Okay. Alright. I think it's time to attack. <laughs> Yeah! Boop, 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 boop. Yep, you should have me here. Um, oh, wait, I can avoid destruction? That's cool. Thank you, Sacred Hopefully Water. I have two monsters that can do it. Yeah! So I don't lose the duel this turn, uh, but I do lose it next turn. <laughs> By the way, I did not have prior experience playing this deck. This is all just stumbling into the right Yeah, point. it didn't look too hard. You know, you just kind of. Had the right cards, and the Venus just played itself, and it worked well. Alright. Well, that's interesting. Um, let's see. So I have Neptune, but I don't have any other cards to use it. So I'm going to summon Sage of the Sky. Okay. And end my turn. <laughs> oh, really? Is that all you got? <laughs> yeah. Don't have all any right. other plays, unfortunately. Let's see. Okay. Activate. Select the card to banish. Let's banish the Mar. No, let's banish the the Earth. And power up another card. Sure. Let's do Saturn again. But let's also activate Hyperion's effect. Yep, yep. 
let's see. I want to try to bring out the other card with it, so I want to see if I can do it before finishing off this turn. Sure. Go for it. Let's see. All right, there we go. Then, activate Jupiter's effect. By discarding a fairy, I can bring back one of the banished, one of the banished cards. Let's bring back the Tuner Earth. I'm curious what other card you're talking about. I want to bring out the other Synchro Monster. Oh, okay. Using these two, I bring out the Executor of Hades, Pluto. Yeah. Big and I can Pluto. activate its effect. Let's see. I can Spanish one card from my graveyard. I guess I'll get rid of one of the Mystic yeah, Shine sure. And target one card in the field and f f put in face down defense position. Okay. That can be pretty handy. Oh, yeah. Get rid of a card that has too much attack points. Mm -hmm. Certain things that, uh, you know, if it's targetable, that is, and has some cool effects, you can do that and kind of get around it as well. Oh, yeah. Nice. All right. Master Flare Hyperion, finish it off. Okay. I was brutalized. Rematch! I want to imagine it's like one of those God of War games where like where it's like over dramatic beatings in that game. <laughs> and that's what this duel was right there. Yeah, kinda. Alright. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. This is a good hand. That'll do. Okay. Now let's see. Ooh, okay. So I get to bring this guy out already? Oh, okay. So, I get to bring out the other version, the dark version of Master Hyperion. Ooh. Majesty Hyperion. By sending away my Jupiter, I get to bring it out. Oh. That is some ugly card art. Okay. <laughs> the let's purple see. fire is a little much. <laughs> yeah. I do like purple, though. Yeah. Okay, let me see. Any battle Bad damage, damage you take? also inflicted to opponents. Yeah, as if there's battle damage from monsters in this duel. Yeah, That's if it wasn't a mirror duel, that'd be more deadly. <laughs> it's true. Banish one fairy monster, target card, and either graveyard banish it. That's handy. Oh, yeah. Alright, well, 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 well. I started off with Sanctuary in the Sky. And uh, I also have Neptune. And I can kind of just copy the play that you did with the Venus. So that's pleasant. Activate summon on one of these. Activate summon another one of these. And now one more time. Get that out there. Wonderful. We got all these orbs. I got this as well, if we need something else on the field. Let's see, two fairy monsters. Yeah, I guess we just go moon with two orbs, right? Yeah, sure. All right, activate it, sure. I don't even know what it does, but let's activate it. And add earth to my hand, yeah! That sounds nice. Oh, and I can use earth and get some more stuff going? Okay. Um, or I could do a lot of things. Let's see, because I got Mars. Not the answer yeah. right now. I got Nova Ooh. Summoner. Let's see. Venus is such a good card for Link summoning, on, on, in all honesty. Yeah, very much so. And uh, let's see. Add one agent of Mr. Earth, since I have that. Tribute one fairy monster, then target one card your opponent controls and destroy that also, it. Is, this also demonstrates why Venus, if you're making a fairy deck, it's just good to put Mystic Shine Ball in there. Yeah. Well, it depends. I feel like it's only going to be good, like, with Venus. But. Let's see. So that goes there. What would we like to add to hand? Let's see. We could grab Uranus. That's yeah. a possibility. And my life points are not higher than it, so I can't really use Saturn. I don't know the best play in this current situation. Um, let's see, anyone else was exciting here? Kind of already got a Hyperion in my hand. 
And I don't have another means of special summoning. I guess if you have multiple Venuses, it's kind of null and void. So how about... Yeah, let's grab Uranus. <laughs> and uh, special summon it. Yeah, why not? Send one monster from your deck to the graveyard. Yeah, sure. It's probably a benefit. I do like, I do like how, how half the agents are just dark monsters as well. You could also yeah. run... You could theoretically run a, a chaos, some chaos variants in this. Yeah, it's all light and dark, isn't it? Yeah. That worked really nicely. Um, piggybacking off what I just said, Venus has already been expended, so let's send one of those into the graveyard, just because it's material. And now, I suppose we should go into the other... into the other Link monster. Um, actually, we should use Moon first, because I still have plenty of material here. Activate. Get rid of Mystic Shine Ball. Let's erase the mystery. Darn it. Okay. Let's see. That was a uh, ooey. I mean, wasn't gonna do anything. True. <laughs> okay. And then, yeah, let's get ourselves Parshoth out here. Who do we want to send away? I guess everyone's kind of done their job here. So, yeah, Venus very much did her job. But then again, we can just stack damage and kind of go for the OTK here. So, this doesn't do anything else, does it? Nope. We'll do that. Out comes Parshoth. And what can it do? If that's it, can add a fairy monster instead. Sure. Oh, I have to discard? That's no fun. Okay, we're going to get rid of Nova Summoner. Oh, that seems like more of a desperation play than anything. Now, what can I do to set myself up for further success? Lost Sanctuary. It could be a big play. Let's see. Set a Sanctuary in the Sky or a Spell or Trap card. Uh, maybe. Banish one fairy monster in your graveyard. Target an effect monster your opponent controls negate its effect. I guess we're going for the, like, OTK option here. So, um, we could get the Majesty Hyperion out here, much like you. And let's see. Yeah, it's an option. That is a loud sound. Um, we could go for protection with something else. You know, let's just grab Majesty Hyperion and let's build a scary looking field. Yeah. Because it looks like we can kind of just solidify the win here. We're going to ditch Neptune from the uh, graveyard. Sounds like a plan. Boop. And look at all that. Neptune does something when he's banished? Cool. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Gives you another Sanctuary in the Sky, but at least I guess, they get rid of it. Yeah, and it uh, also weeds it out a little bit. Yeah, because um, Sanctuary in the Sky only has, only has that one effect. It doesn't have protection, it doesn't have an additional effect, no nothing. So. We also had him in our opening hand, so that's kind of cool. Um, oh, I am great out dead. <laughs> yep, yep. And, yeah, I suppose we'll activate... Let's see, so he banishes one... And then targets a card on the field, destroys it, lovely. And he it, banishes one, targets a card on the field, and banishes it. I guess that's preferable. Oh, yeah, and you, I can just get rid of you that. Know I, you know, I was just kidding about the Brutus Lace, Brutus uh, oh, being brutal from God of War, right? You don't have to You don't have to recreate it, right? Yeah, I do. There we go. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> oh, no. No. And attack. Oh, God. The beatdown begins. <laughs> so this deck has OTK potential, we just learned. Yeah, no, the new cards the new cards give the harder to summon agent cards a much more better life. Yeah. And Master Hyperion, go to finish that off. Okay. So definitely can be a quick pace deck. Makes sense. Oh yeah. I can see it. And we'll go into a round three. Uh, oh, yeah. Would you like first to second? I'll take second this time. I figure. Let's see, is a good like turn one play? Well, let's see what cards we have to begin with. Um, we have Sanctum mm. of Parshath, but we don't have a, a dream scenario out here. Let's see. So that could help us a little. Let's just play that for now. Why not? And. I guess just doing that's not a bad idea. I want to get this sky powered out somehow, but I don't know how. Hmm. 
guess the smart play. Hmm. Oh, this is a tuner. Okay, can I just go for the Master Flare this turn? Then quick play to banish and target banish. That might be smart. Yeah, we'll try to play like that. Sure. Um, so I'll start off with Venus. Activate, let's get these orbs moving. Maybe there's a few different ways to play this deck, you know? Excellent. We go here. Get another one. Three pieces all across the field. We also have Uranus in our hands, so let's go ahead and put that on the field. And then I can send one agent monster from my deck to the graveyard. You gotta love starting off with Venus turn one. Oh yeah. Let's see, that level becomes that, so I have to be very careful with how I use that effect. So um, if you were to upgrade this deck, I think Venus is definitely a full three cards along with her shine balls. Yeah, as I said, like, it's dead after you use it, but you can just send stuff to Graveyard anyway. Okay, mm -hmm. so, let's see, is it worth getting this here? Probably. I will say right now, um, actually, yeah, I'm still able to, so I'll just keep that to myself. Do that. And then we'll activate it. Um, I can add Earth instead. Sure. Oh yeah, because uh, Parshoth counts as that. Maybe I shouldn't have done that and should have uh, considered other options, but that's fine. Now, let's see. Do I try to get a Parshoth out here? Add Sanctuary in the Sky. That's good. But do I need, need it right now? Let's see. <laughs> That's nice. But it doesn't need Sanctuary of the Sky. Alright, Hyperion, come on out. Sounds good to me. Does the Link Zone matter here? Probably not. We'll just put him here anyway. So that's a decent starter for me. Oh, what can this do? Once per turn, target three uh, fair monsters in graveyard and place them on deck. I will absolutely not be doing that. And oh, although you can recycle the shine ba balls, never mind. I think that's a big part of why this is in the deck. Nice. All right. Now yep. this lets me send something um, away. So sure. Activate and send to the graveyard. Also, apparently you can play a lot. Or lo or lo you can play around with a lot of counter traps by all these card name definitions right here. Yeah, there's a lot that me mentions them. And is there any benefit to me doing this right now? Not really, so I'll save that in my hand. And is there any benefit to me using this right now? Probably not. So we'll just play with what we got right here. It looks good to me. I'll end my turn, and we'll see if that can stop you from playing. Alright, let me see. Well, I might as well follow your lead in, in sense. <laughs> First up, I'm going to play my Sanctuary in the Sky. Very nice. Then, I'll also play Venus. Okay. Venus' effect, of course, as you know. I will shut you down immediately. <laughs> At least to get one out. Yeah. However, that was a That is all summon. I can do. Yep. I, can. I had a feeling Rush and the Flare Hyperion in this deck would work. <laughs> yeah. No, you're not wrong. Um, shall I do this? Maybe. There's a few things I could do right here. Um, I guess I might as well activate this effect, send to the graveyard. Um, I guess just the other Venus. Unless we want to do some recovery. Nah, I like having endless material. That's good. Is there any fairies that like to be in the graveyard? There might be. Anything I can, like, summon from Graveyard. I know Neptune had that, like, when it's banished effect. Um, and that will give me a Sanctuary in the Sky. But oh, I don't have one in the Graveyard. Yeah, let's do that. And then, let's do this. Tribute. Oh, yeah. I need a monster to Tribute. Well, self. And destroy. Oh, I thought I was using the other effect for some reason. 
Let's you know, just get your orb off the field. Getting your sanctuary in the sky would generally be good, but it's probably over. So. Yeah, I'm not going to live this turn, am I? I don't think so. Ooh, do we try to be tricky here? Let's see if we can. Uh, we'll go Earth. Earth will then add to my hand uh, Venus. And I'll take back my warps because I'm going to activate Sanctum. No, one of the orbs is banished because I banished it. Oh, you can't do two cards with the same name. Hmm. Oh, didn't want to do that, actually. Okay, then. So I guess we'll just add that and that and you know what? That. Okay. Um, doesn't really matter here. Okay, so that play is not as massive as I had envisioned it in my brain. Um, but we can now activate Neptune to summon Venus. Oh, can I summon from Graveyard with that effect? Oh, neat. That's pretty snazzy. And I can get the two orbs out. So that's nice. Two orbs is certainly enough. Oh, oh yeah, no, it's only one. I only have one back. Duh. And then we will go for the moon. We'll use that and that. Activate moon. Let's see, what's it normally send? Uh, send one card to the graveyard or add that. Yeah, I guess adding stuff is always going to be the better option. If I have material in the graveyard, that is. And then is Parshoth more damage? No, not really. So we'll just leave that as is, and we'll summon a Hyperion that's been in our hand. Do that, and since I put the Neptune in there to banish, that gets me a free Sanctuary in the sky. Not so that I particularly need it. Um, but we got that. That can, uh, yeah, I guess might as well just flex the uh, potential of him. Do that, banish another Shine Ball, get rid of your Sanctuary. Ta-da! The deck works. Oh yeah, and since I have my own Sanctuary in the sky, I can use this effect twice. Which is lovely. Um, that being said, there's not exactly any other cards on your side of the field, so we're just gonna attack. Everyone still gets to attack despite using their effects, nothing like that to slow it down. And, uh, yeah, this plays pretty seriously. Now I will say, this deck is very stoppable. Because, like, a lot of it banks on that one play, you know, either banks on yeah. that, that Neptune or the Venus, you know, to open mm. things up. And then once you use that, you're pretty much dead in the water. So it's I a very a stoppable good, deck. But I ha basically hand traps to shut it down if you think about it. <laughs> yeah. So will this be making it into the meta right now? No. But it's a good deck and it's a fun deck and it's not that hard to use, I wouldn't say. Yeah. No, honestly. I mean, I think we figured it out pretty solidly just here and there. So. Mm hmm. Pretty sure you'll have a comment down below if you guys know any better combos for us to use or if we're missing any key cards that are not in the agent our stuff that can really help out this deck let us know honestly yeah obviously chaos fits into it beautifully just looking at it um but i oh, don't yeah. think the deck needs that because it has offense and chaos usually offers offense but it also offers like unique things more banishing yeah <laughs> this deck is full of banishing and offense and that's kind of what the uh chaos things tend to do too so maybe True. maybe not but either way you know more of a good thing is always good hopefully you guys have right. enjoyed it if you have make sure you leave a like on this video suggest what you want to see us fight against this deck in the comments down below and we'll see you next time see you folks